Let's imagine that we've got three substations organizing the power grid in our city. One serves a hospital as well as some residential. Um, another serves uh, a commercial district where like restaurants and shops as well as a, a residential district. And one serves uh, an industrial district where they make, they manufacture goods and uh, things like that. So when we have plenty of power, that is uh, when things are normal, we have 300 plus milliamps on this meter to work with. Um, so if I crank this generator, I can, uh, I see that all three substations turn on. All three districts have plenty of electricity um, to work with. And this meter is above 300. We don't know what the exact number is, but we know that it's above 300. Now, when there's a storm, we know that supply is decreased. And let's say for the sake of argument here that um, we can't get more than 200 milliamps out of our generator during the storm. So you'll notice if I crank this so that it is around 200 milliamps, none of the districts turn on. And that's a problem because we don't have enough power to go around. So the question becomes, what do we do in this situation? What decisions do we have to make? Um, one thing that we could try is using the substation switch to turn off the industrial region because during the storm, we don't care as much about manufacturing goods. So if we crank this at around 200 milliamps, we're still not seeing the hospital and residential and commercial areas turn on. So we're still left with a choice between these two substations. Do we deliver power to the hospital and the residential area, or do, do, we, do we deliver power to the commercial district and the residential area? Um, we could try turning one of them off. And again, generating power around 200 milliamps. And we can see the hospital and the residential area nearby is now getting power the residential area that is next to the commercial district is not getting power. So the, the people who live here are without power, even though the people who live here have power because they're living next to the hospital. Um, and if we had more power to go around, that is like if the storm supply was greater, then we wouldn't have to make this tough choice. We could, for example, deliver power to both of these districts. Um, but when supply and demand don't match up, um, we are forced to make tough decisions.